Okay, so as you guys know, we like to pick apart the research for you guys so that whether you are a clinician or perhaps a parent or someone wanting this, um, the hyperbaric for yourself, we want to simplify this information for you. So this is a really good study. This was in BMC Pediatrics, and we'll cite everything in the description for the video below. This was a uh, mild hyperbaric pressure uh, applied for children with autism. And so one of the reasons we want to share this study is that this is about mild hyperbaric, um, which is delivered in a soft chamber, which is very easy for people to access in their homes. So you can, you can get mild hyperbaric in a clinic, and you can also bring it into your home if that makes your life easier. So this was a study, it was done on 62 children with autism. They were ages two to seven and they received uh, 40 treatments, 40 dives, at 1.3 atmospheres and 24% oxygen. Anything you wanna say about that? <laughs> so, uh, different hyperbaric environments have different effects on our body. So, uh, sometimes, throughout all these videos that we'll go over and through all the research that you're probably doing, uh, there are times where there's higher pressure being used, times where lower pressure is being used, times where air only is being used, and times where supplemental oxygen is also being used. Uh, so in this particular case, they did uh, air only and two different pressures, one barely above uh, one atmosphere, 1.03, and one that's about 15 feet of seawater, 1.3 atmospheres, but they're only breathing air, but because they're under pressure and only breathing air, you're still absorbing more oxygen into your body. But this is a Across the board, this is what would be considered mild hyperbaric oxygen. Yeah, which again can be delivered in your home. And so basically to sum up the, the conclusion of the study, 30% um, of the children in the treatment group had very much improvement in um, overall function. So they had changes in social interaction, eye contact, and receptive language. And then there was also a CGI score um, that was, it's called a clinical global impression. And that was rated by the parents, the caregivers, or the clinicians. And it was on a scale of one to seven um, from either uh, one being very much improved in their, in their abilities, or they got very much worse. That's literally the words they use, very much worse. And so there was, a, there was an 80% improvement in the 1.3 treatment group relative to the non-treated group. Yeah, um, so an 80% improvement, fantastic. Uh, in general, the hyperbaric was well treated, it's safe and well tolerated. So we get a couple questions in regards to children going in chambers often. Um, so people usually wanna know what the hyperbaric's gonna feel like. So we describe it as very similar to uh, the pressure that you would feel on an airplane. So when kids in particular are going in a chamber, we recommend if they're able to, they chew gum or they bring in water that they can suck on to help clear their ears and also to have um, parents help them stay ahead of the pressure. Yeah, most parents say, gosh, I don't know if my kid's really actually gonna go in there. And I will tell you that almost every time, the kid can't wait to get in there and it's the parent that's more nervous than anybody. So. Um, kids love it in there. It's it's almost like they're going, think they think it's they're a rocket going camping, ship. <laughs> or like, here's my tent, or here's my rocket yeah. ship. And so kids do great. Uh, their eardrums tolerate actually also better than most parents or most adults. And so uh, it, it is a very well tolerated. It is extraordinarily safe as a, as a tool to use for a lot of these clinical issues. Um, and it's, it's very effective across the board. And parents, you can actually go in with your children. We recommend that. And then the parents get the benefits of the hyperbaric as well. So if you guys have any questions, please, as always, comment below. Um, feel free to share. And again, we will uh, post the, the link to the study so that you have as much information around the study as you would like.